Now, Xbox One has a lot of features beyond just playing awesome video games. Uh, one of the features I had read about and heard about, but wasn't sure I really got the point of, uh, was this ability to stream gaming from the Xbox One to a laptop or PC. I mean, to me, it just seemed like, why would you want to do that? And then it kind of dawned on me, as you can see, I like to play games, as I was going to play a game like Gears of War. The problem here is it's a great game, but it's not really appropriate to have on a big screen if you've got little kids. So this really limited me to when I could play. So even seven or eight o'clock at night, kids are getting ready for bed, I can't have this on. I have to wait till they're well you know, into bedtime. And that's just not convenient for me at all. So the streaming option started to make sense. And that's what I'm gonna talk about here is how to stream Xbox One to a laptop. You can see here, I'm using a controller, I'm playing the game, uh, Gears of War it's power, coming up. And I don't have it here, but you can also hook up uh, headphones so you don't even you know, hear the volume. But this is really uh, the only reason I can really see, or one of the better reasons of why you would even wanna do this. You can see it works really great. And this is over a wireless uh, network in my house. And if I want to, I can just turn the television off. Uh, the Xbox is still running, but I'm playing the game on my laptop and have a little more privacy and I don't have to worry about kids and so forth. So now I'm gonna kind of walk through uh, how this works. So number one, you need Windows 10. It does not work with any other version, only Windows 10, and it comes built in with an Xbox app. Second thing is you need a controller, and more importantly is you need the PC adapter. It's a wireless adapter for Windows 10 that plugs in via USB to your laptop or PC. And optionally, you may want a pair of headphones or earbuds. Uh, this is how I use it in this way. Nobody can hear what I'm playing, and you have complete privacy there. So now for the setup. I'm going to start on my Xbox. I'm going to go over to the settings, and I'm going to go to all settings. And then we're going to go down to preferences. We need to go to game and DVR streaming. And this is where we'll, we will enable uh, the Xbox to stream to other devices. So make sure those two uh, boxes are checked on the far right. The other piece, so we're going to back to the settings. We're going to go to the smart glass connection to make sure that that top from any smart glass device is also enabled. Okay, so that's it for the Xbox. Second thing, go ahead, plug in your controller and sync it. So you plug one the adapter into the uh, USB connection. There's a little button on top of the controller, just like you sync with the Xbox. And there's one on the controller, just like the Xbox. Wait, they'll both be blinking, and eventually they will go solid. Trust me. Okay, so now the third piece is on your uh, laptop or your PC. So you're going to go to that Xbox app. And this is going to look real simple. And in fact, it may be harder than it actually is. It just depends on your network and so forth. And why I say that is, in theory, you go down to the, on the left of this far box down there to connect your Xbox. I'm already connected here, but what you would do is up here, hit this plus. It would look and search for any Xbox Ones on your network. And if it doesn't find it, you can go type in the actual IP address. Um, so you can find that on your Xbox or maybe through your router, go and see what IP address is assigned. But basically you're gonna connect it. It's gonna give you options to stream. You, you select a stream and it's gonna start uh, streaming over what you see in your Xbox. Now, right here, I actually don't have my controller set up, but you can see it brings it up here. And when it's fully functioning, this is, this is what it looks like. Um, now, I actually initially had a little bit of trouble connecting it. Make sure you have a good you know, Wi-Fi connection and all that. The other kind of pieces I'll throw in here that are interesting is that when you go to that setup, you can actually turn the Xbox off from there, on and off. Here, I turn it on and it says it's powering on. And once it's on, uh, you can select more over to the far right, and then you can turn the Xbox off. Because the Xbox will be running in the other room or wherever you're at. So that's how, that's in a nutshell. I think it's a really neat uh, option. You can sit downstairs, have the Xbox upstairs, be sitting there, and nobody even bothers you and you're, you're playing the game.
Hope that helps. Thanks.